let's have a look at the conversion of Landsat 5 thematic matter, mapper at sensor radiance data to at sensor reflectance. So this is once we've already obtained the raw digital numbers and we've converted that to at sensor radiance and then we're going to the next step to get at sensor reflectance. So have the equation at the top of the slide there and once again I'm, I've taken the equation and the variables from the reading that's down, down listed at the bottom there. So here's the equation, let's go through it step by step. I'll bring in some extra information to start with. First of all, we've got a table that lists the variables in that equation, the meaning of those variables and the units. Also, I have some additional information, which is based on the E sun lambda value, which is given in the first table. So they're the band specific values for the exoatmospheric solar irradiance in those particular wavelengths. We'll also bring in information from the metadata file that is contained within Landsat data, for example, when you download the GeoTIFF from Glovis. And we've got an additional spreadsheet that gives us the Earth-Sun distance on any day of the year. So there's two sheets in this looking at leap year and non-leap year. Alright, so let's go through the equation bit by bit. First of all, the first variable that we have is the at sensor reflectance, which is what we're trying to get out of this equation, so that will remain our unknown variable. The first, the first, the next variable in, in that case um, is a constant, and that's pi, and that's got an approximate value of 3.14. The next variable is our at sensor radiance, so that will be our input once we've corrected the the Landsat data from digital numbers to the at sensor radiance, that's our band there based on band 1 for example. The next value is the earth sun distance given from the attached spreadsheet and it's specific to each individual day of the year and this is a squared value so for example on the 17th of October we've got a value of 0.99662 and as it's squared we multiply it by itself. We're then dividing by this value of E sun, which is the mean exoatmospheric solar irradiance at, uh, integrated over those wavelengths for that particular band. So if we're looking at band 1, for example, we've got a value of 1983. And I've just popped that in the equation down the bottom. And finally, we're multiplying it by the cos of the solar zenith angle. Now if you have a look in the metadata file which is just shown at the bottom left there you actually can see that the value is given as a solar elevation. So what you actually need to do is to use 90 minus that particular value. So that way we're converting from elevation to zenith. So the zenith is 90 minus the elevation. So that gives us the equation that we can then plug into NV or any other image processing system to give us the at sensor reflectance of a particular band.